Welcome to Busy Bee by Cindy. This is a short video to show you how to print or copy on tracing paper. Here are the supplies you'll need to copy or to print on tracing paper. First of all, you'll need tracing paper. And you'll notice that this comes in a, um, a pad of nine by 12 inch pieces. It will have to be cut down to eight and a half by 11. If you're only going to print couple of pages, I would cut them out with a pair of scissors. If you need um, a stack of tracing paper cut out, I would use my guillotine cutter. Um, however, your guillotine cutter will not cut uh, just a couple of pieces because the, the paper is too thin. It'll just fold over the edge. So if you're going to use your guillotine cutter, you might want to cut, I don't know, 10 or 15 sheets at one time. So you have your tracing paper. Here is one that's been cut to eight and a half by 11. You will need some tape, something to print. This is a paper piecing pattern for a pattern I created called Hattie's Heart. And I prefer to use um, cardstock rather than regular paper for this task. Let me show you how you do it. So you have your cardstock, you have your tracing paper, and you've got your tape. So I'm going to put a piece of tape so that about a quarter of an inch of the tape is sticking up, I don't know how well you can see that, over the top edge of my cardstock. I'll put one on the left side, one in the middle, and one on the right. Whoops, that one folded over. And all of these are gonna be sticking up by about a quarter of an inch. Alrighty, so I'm going to lay that down so the sticky side is facing up. I'm going to lay my tracing paper right over the cardstock. Line it up as best you can. You especially want the top to line up pretty well. And then grab that tape and flip it over so that the tape is coming over the top edge of the tracing paper and just adhering the tracing paper basically to your cardstock. So once you have it like this, we can head to the printer. Okay, so for my printer, I'm gonna put this in here so that the tracing paper side is facing down because that's the orientation that my printer requires. So I'm just gonna put it in the paper tray To pull the tracing paper off of the cardstock, you just want to turn this over and really gently just kind of pull it away. You can usually do it without tearing your uh, tracing paper, and um, you can reuse your cardstock. It's already got your tape attached, so put that someplace safe where the tape isn't going to stick to something. And you can use that over and over, and you end up with um, a nice printed pattern, or a nice printed whatever you want, on tracing paper, where you can see through both sides. It comes in really handy if you're doing paper piecing, because you can sew on either side. You can see what you're doing as you're laying the pieces out. Hope that helped you.